and sisters welcome back to my channel I know I know I know it has been a long time and the thing is I had to take a step back from YouTube because I did not know the way forward basically I just jumped into this YouTube arena with basically no plan and I just had to take a step back and get organized let's just dive in today's message so we when we pray we talk a lot about the joshua generation how we are the joshua generation and like how god wants us to be the joshua generation and the thing is like what are we talking about so let us start from who joshua was joshua was the successor of moses joshua was the spy that was sent you know after all the other spies came and they were and they were and they were saying how tough the the enemy side was joshua and caleb came back and we said no with god we can we can win we can get them so joshua was a warrior okay joshua is a warrior so when you claim yourself to be of the joshua generation you're basically saying that you are a warrior of the most high Okay, you have now acclaimed yourself to be a warrior of God and as a warrior, the characters of a warrior, a warrior is courageous, a warrior is fearless, is you, you are ready to fight and stand for what you believe in and what you love. You know, we are willing to fight for what you believe in and that's, a, that's, that, that's basically what it means um, to be in the Joshua generation. And um, I, I was just scrolling through online and I happened to pass by a website that has like seven traits of the joshua generation that i i absolutely love and i just wanted to share it with you guys and i hope it will be a blessing and it will open you know furthermore understanding on what exactly the joshua generation entails and the traits of the joshua generation so first one is the joshua generation honors the previous generation the joshua generation does not disregard the previous generation joshua and you know his generation now the the the, the young ones because they're the ones who entered the promised land moses and a lot of the people who were in the wilderness, uh, that generation, a lot of them did not get in. It was the young children. It was the children that they had. Joshua was a young man. And so when you hear about the Joshua generation, it was it's the generation that came after the Moses generation. The generation that was delivered from Egypt and, you know, stayed that long in the wilderness. So when we're talking about that, we're talking about a younger generation which respects the older generation in spite of the previous generation wandering in the wilderness for 40 years joshua still remained as a faithful servant and of uh, as a faithful servant of his leader moses moses was his leader joshua abided his time and served faithfully until moses transitioned out and god commissioned him to be the new leader so young leaders that are impatient and want their mantle prematurely will find out the hard way that their gifts and abilities are not enough to take them to the promised land so as a younger generation it is very important to wait for your time and also respect your elders is respect the generation that was before you the generation that you know tore broke the soil that's how my mom puts it. She says that the older generations are the ones who broke the soil. Because if you're in a desert and the, and the if you're in a dry land and the ground is hard, um, you the the people who are going to break the soil are the ones who are going to do the hardest job. So the older generation are the ones who broke the soil. So for us, it's just going through the soil that has that is loose and wet and you know easy so we need that so that's 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 what um drives in the respect for the people who broke the soil so consequently young leaders who are critical and dishonoring of the previous generation will not be trusted by god to lead the next generation if you feel like you're um a leader who is trying to lead your generation and you feel like you are you know kirehere even god does not trust you with that job so it's about humility, humbling yourself, being patient, and respecting your elders. Okay, so the second point about the second trait of the Joshua generation is they are people of great faith. Okay, Joshua, he went 
um, into this enemy's camp. I don't remember exactly which one, Joshua and Caleb, they went after Moses had sent out a lot of spies before them. And all of them came back and said, they are so many, they're gonna crush us. Joshua and Caleb came back and said, yeah, they might look many, but we have God on our side. They're nothing compared to what, you know, who is on our side, like, how to do it. <laughs> like we have God so like you see they have great faith great faith and trust in their maker in their warrior in their captain who is God so you as that's the second trait for the Joshua generation they are people who have very great faith like they believe they are unstoppable, unstoppable because God is on their side that they can do anything because God is on your side. Not because of their own strength and might, but because God is on their side. Their faith in Him is well established. Their faith has been founded on Jesus, a very firm foundation, a faithful God who sticks to His promises. And when He tells you that if you build your faith on my foundation, it's a firm foundation, you believe it. You believe it with all your heart. That is that is a that is a good trait of the Joshua generation. Okay, so the third trait of the Joshua generation is they have a conquering anointing. Every generation has its own battles. Okay, and whether they conquer or not depends on, you know, God's will, God's time, and God's purpose. But for the Joshua, the Joshua generation is very very special because they have a conquering anointing. Remember, they are warriors, and when they are they when it's time to fight they are ready always ready to fight always ready for the battle because what they have a conquering anointing they already know they're gonna win they already know they already have already declared the victory okay so as a joshua generation you have to know that you have already conquered because you have the conquering anointing all over you so you have to know that you have already conquered and it's already in your hands we do not fight for victory we fight from victory that's a very very important um line that i i use all the time even when i'm praying i do not fight for victory because a lot of people think that we go to the battle so that we can win no we fight from victory because it's already ours we have already declared the victory hallelujah um the, the fourth trait of the joshua generation is they are the people of the book okay so god told joshua that they that the key to his success would be that the book of the law commandments the book of the law would not depart from his mouth but that he was to meditate upon it day and night so he would prosper and be successful and that is found in joshua chapter 1 from verse 8 to 9 so we are the joshua generation is the generation the people who the bible is right here is right here is right here the 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 laws of god is right here in your daily activities you, you know what you, how you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be as you're walking. You already know who you are because you know God's commandments. You, they're right there in, they're in your mouth, in your head. You have them memorized. You're the people who keep the law. They do not have time to go astray. Okay? So for the fifth trait, the Joshua generation does not tolerate ungodliness. In the camp and this, this is a good story here when Israel you know Joshua was leading the Israel army so when they lost a battle immediately Joshua would go and sought the Lord and ask him is it something that we have done wrong like wh why why did we lose this battle because you know that they have the conquering anointing so um, basically so when they lost the battle they would be like, whoa, something is not right. Something is amiss. So the God, Joshua would immediately run and seek the Lord and ask, you know, for a revelation. Like something, something is amiss somewhere. And what happened one day was that he found out there was a man named Achan or Akan. And he brought sin in the, in the camp. Therefore, defiling the whole conquering anointing, the whole... The trait of the Joshua generation 
okay which compromise the whole nation so the pre this present day joshua generation will have a renewed call to holiness among with a passion along with a passion to walk in his presence oh that one is strong brothers and sisters all we have been praying for from the beginning of this year or i have been praying i'm just gonna speak for myself all that i've been praying for from the beginning of this year is just to have god's presence with me all the time we have a renewed call to holiness we're not saying that we are perfect because the bible tells us no one is perfect the bible tells us that we have all fallen short but we have that calling to holiness we do not rush to sin okay we do not rush to sin we do not you know do sin willfully just knowing because we're gonna repent we we are we are we are, we are we are new people we are changed people we are new people we don't do that anymore mm -mm. we're not because someone who does that is a lukewarm christian someone who has haste feet to go to sin is a lukewarm christian okay and the joshua generation are not lukewarm christians we have a renewed call to holiness and we seek to walk in the presence of the lord day in and day out so that's another trait of the Joshua generation. The sixth trait of the Joshua generation is that we are people of purpose. We do not just do things for the sake of doing them. We have a purpose in every step we take. And I feel this one is, I feel like this is a confirmation because this whole month, the every day, every month, every week of the month has been something there has been something today we are praying for this and we're gonna pray about this for this long and we have seen everything as long as you, you that's why it's very important to keep in touch with the presence of god so that you know exactly where he wants you and what he wants you to do okay because we are we are a generation that walks you know in purpose we are people of purpose we know we have a goal that we're trying to reach and we have a time and we, we are planned, we are organized. That is a trait of the Joshua generation. We are people of purpose. Not a day passes these days without it having a purpose. We walk with a purpose these days and that's very, very true for the Joshua generation. So the last and final trait of the Joshua generation is the gen it's a generation of accomplishment. The present move of God is about action and accomplishment. The mere talk and fanta fanta fantasizing. People are tired of the politicians and leaders who speak forth platitudes and promises that they never keep. Okay, similar to the Joshua generation that followed the death of Moses. Okay, God is raising up in our midst those who will be who will be out be who will be outcome based, result oriented, and walk out kingdom principles on earth as it is in heaven. This present move of God is not satisfied with keeping the presence, the power and activities of God within the four walls of the church building for two hours on a Sunday. They will be satisfied when the transforming glory of God is manifested from Monday to Monday okay they will they will all be they, they they will only be satisfied when biblical principles are applied with success in the marketplace finally the general the um they will only be satisfied when they see the biblical principles ascend again as a cultural ethos of the land in which they live so basically the joshua generation is a generation of accomplishment we strive for accomplishment everything as i said everything we do we do it for a purpose and was we seek that purpose we we work until that purpose has been accomplished we do not just um we're not just satisfied with the presence of the lord you know bound between four walls in a sunday you know for two hours and then the rest we you know tonight we just live normally no the joshua generation we want to we want to keep on walking in this purpose from Monday to Monday, from Sunday to Sunday, every day of the week, every hour, every second, we are walking in purpose and we are going to accomplish our purpose. Okay, so yeah, um, those are the seven traits of the Joshua generation. So right now you have to 
be very alert in the spirit a lot of us are in the joshua generation without knowing but there you go if you found yourself you have free be feeling these seven traits or even more you know basically you've just been feeling renewed this year and there's been this whole turn around joshua generation arise we are warriors we fight the battle on the offensive side meaning we go into battle we are the one who go into battle to claim everything that was ours we do not just sit back and defend we go to the offensive side we claim back what was taken from us we claim back everything that belongs to us because we do not just sit idle and watch the enemy do his thing mm -mm. not today satan <laughs> basically yeah that's all that i had for you today um i love you love you love you love you. god loves you more john 3 16 he loves the whole world that he sent his only begotten son to die for us that anyone and i'm talking about anyone who believes in him will not die but have everlasting life god's love i'm here to spread god's love he loves everyone no matter who you are no matter where you come from no matter what you have done god's love is everlasting for you and it's his grace and mercy is sufficient for this generation catch me next time you're gonna be seeing my face a lot from now on because now i'm organized and i have a purpose and i am also striving for accomplishment of my purposes because i am of the joshua generation so thank you thank you so much for tuning in i love you love you god loves you more and make sure you share hit the like button and subscribe to my channel